The Mesmer boss battle is definitely one of the hardest boss battles, but it's always going to begin the same way. Mesmer is going to rise up into the air, and then he's going to move forward and then begin to drop down. When he drops down, you roll, and then once he lands, you wait a half a second and then roll again, and then you miss his fire on the ground attack. Then you have the opportunity to do a charged attack or a jump attack, and then get him with a good bit of damage before you really have to begin to dance with this super hard boss. As you can see from this part, Mesmer doesn't really attack too fast. The issue is, is that this Mesmer fight you have to be super duper reactive. Do not really take the fight to him, just roll forward and if you stay close to him and forward roll, you will miss most of his attacks. And then you go in and you hit him whenever you have little opportunities and that should get you to stagger him at the very beginning of the fight. Again, this is another example whenever he does his lunge stab forward, just roll forward through him and then attack him and hopefully if you've done enough of these attacks and dodges you can stagger him. If you see this reach attack, wait till the very last second, forward roll then attack or heal. Then again, if he has more combos after that, roll forward. Now if he goes up into the air and you're underneath him, just roll forward, wait for him to hit the ground, and then take that opportunity to stab him. It's a great attack. Now when you see these swirls, you need to roll forward under the initial attack. Then after that, run as far as you can from his triple stab. If you get hit once or twice or even three times, it will not kill you. Main thing is, is when he does this main dive, that you roll forward and then you roll again after he hits the ground to miss the fire AOE on the floor. But if you do this, you will make it through the first phase. Actually, I take it back. This is the one that you really need to know. Mesmer has this five hit combo with a thrust, then his flame, then he swings, then he swings again. But it's this very last drag on the ground where you see the sparks. Anytime you see the sparks, because he has a thrust one too, this is a super delayed attack. So don't be like me and be too impatient to wait that extra half second. If you can get this down, the first phase is definitely going to be a cakewalk. Congratulations, you made it to phase two and you're royally fucked. The good thing is, it always begins the same way. Mesmer's gonna turn into a snake, he rises up before he hits the ground, roll, and then roll again to miss the fire AOE attack. Now, once you've done that, run and jump, or you know, charge up whatever, and hit Mesmer once he emerges from the snake, or once the snake hits the ground. This is a perfect window to also heal. Again, this is always gonna happen at the beginning of the second phase, which is really gonna turn up. When Mesmer disappears into the goo, into the floor, this means you need to back up. A snake is about to erupt out of the floor. You wait for the snake to strike down, and then you roll away, and then you go back and hit the snake's head, and then you should hit Mesmer. If you've done some damage before, this is a good chance that you will be able to stagger him. There are, very, there are many variations of this attack though, so make sure you understand it may not always just be one snake strike. Like here, now you see that there's three snakes striking me, and I could never really get this down. I know the last snake um, attacks at a delayed rate, but just understand, kind of like a lot of bosses in this game, a lot of the attacks look the same at the beginning, but you gotta be on your toes because they're really gonna get you if you're not paying attention. Along with this triple strike, which again looks like one quick one, a quick one, and then a delayed one, you can always hit Mesmer once the snake head has hit the ground, but there's also another one that I forgot to put a clip of, just remember that, that comes from the wall. Just know that there's multiple snake attacks and keep your head on a swivel, you have to look at multiple points. Mesmer still uses a lot of the basic, or not basic attacks, but the same attacks that he uses in the first phase and a lot of the same tempo. So as long as you remember how to dodge the AOE, you should be good. However, he has a new wrinkle and it comes in a slightly different position. 
Mesmer will look like he's about to go in for a lunge, but he's really going to fly or glide across the mat. He closes distance like this a lot, especially out of snake attacks, and then sometimes he will follow up with a snake attack after this lunge. The worst attack is this one here. If you're too close to Mesmer, whenever his goo puddle starts, you'll take a big burst damage from him. Then he's going to hit with all three snakes with the final one causing again a ground fire AoE. So make sure that number one, if you notice this, you can back away from Mesmer or block it. Secondly, just make sure that that final snake that hits the ground, you miss. Because I died several times right before killing Mesmer because of this snake attack. It is the worst of all of them. Like my Rolanda video, I'm going to post my talismans here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Yes! I know I didn't have the most perfect moves, but at the same time, I hope that this helps somebody and just understand that this boss is super hard. It took me like six hours to beat him. Be patient. If you need to, use summons. He's one of the hardest bosses in the game, but if you don't want to, I hope these tips worked. Thank you for watching. Make sure and like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.